And I tell you my experience to you all here. Before I went through meditating um, uh, impermanence, saying, oh, everybody dies, and when you die, die, death is certain, and when you die, uncertain, I think that way. Okay? I think and I think and think. But I don't feel it. I don't feel that it's very reasonable. Okay? I don't think it's many important. Then one day, I went with my old monk. He's not a, he's a, uh, with a wife monk, okay? There are many monks. Really ordained monk with no wives, okay? No family. One practitioner, they have wife and children, but they practice, okay? They have many different ways. They wear similar clothes, but they don't wear the yellow robe. They wear like this, one yellow. His Holiness Dalai Lama wear yellow. That means he's ordained. He doesn't have wife. When he doesn't wear the yellow, that means he's her wife. Or he don't, he's not an ordained. It's not a rule regulation that you should do. You feel like to do, you do it. You don't feel like to do it, you don't do it. It's free. Yourself. Okay? That old monk, we, I went with him in the mountain. Okay? I reached up there like a 10 o'clock morning. 11.30, we finished dinner. Phone call. Saying, hey, your wife died. Then he said, how can be? This morning at the Kolo, I'm just eating breakfast with my wife. How, how she can be die like this? And he said, oh, really true, impermanence, death is uncertain. Understand? He's not crying. It does not mean he doesn't love him. He's so like, yeah, it's okay. Now what to do? My wife already left me. It's okay. In the car, he's doing meditation. Then I check behind, look this mirror, look this slowly, he's crying or not. He's not crying. But he's quite sad. But not so much like, like not like this. Understand? You can see totally different. I'm so surprised. Then I went down. He said, please, Rinpoche, you come there and do some prayers. Then I say, okay. Well, I reached down there 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock. I went with my robes, clothes with the text. I went down. Wife is lying down in there. And he's sitting down, meditating. Then I sit up and I do prayers, okay? Then I realize one thing. Buddha said, when you die, nothing you can carry. Not your body too. I look. I can see the daughters coming from the Europe. Okay? I can see the husband sitting there. I sit here. I look the body. I say, it's true. It's true that when she dies, she cannot carry whole create a cut in her hand and pay in the intermediate state or whatever he would like to pay. It's really true. And logical, you think carefully. When you born, we all born, are we born with a credit card with a card on our hand? Oh, mommy, it's my credit card. We never come like this. We don't have one single underpant. I'm sorry. We came with nothing. So exactly that way. We came nothing, we go nothing. Understand? When you go, nothing. I'm sorry. I see it. my friend of me. She's very naturally, very, very peacefully dead. And her father telling the daughter, Look, your mother, Indra now, doing practicing. Huh? She died very nicely, without any pain. Look, very nice death. I'm happy with my wife, how she died. So you all try to do some meditation, practice. Then the daughter's wearing mala in neck, doing something in front of me. I said, okay, let's see one week later. But it's okay, now they're doing something. Okay, I see that. One day I saw one story. I tell you this story because I, my own experience. You never, you saw is, uh, people dying in front of you. I deal with these things. My, when I'm young, when I'm your age, young, 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 I deal with all these things. You know? So one day I deal with one person. They said to me, Come please to deal with this somebody. Then it's very dark and they are not a third world country, no money, no so good light, very old house. They have a candle light in the in the in the in the door in the evening. Then I went up, one old man died. How he looked like they dying? They hold the, like this, mouth is open, no clothes, pressing, hold hand, how to say, the closer. Like this, you know, so really scary. I look, all the young monks, they say, oh, this is very, very scary. Then we pray, pray, pray. One young monk say, 
I can see the beer is moving. <laughs> He's not dead. <laughs> All they're scared. They said, no, 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 no. Pray, pray, pray. Pray faster. Pray faster. <laughs> yeah. Then I can see there. Yeah. It's quite a, quite a funny experience, these kind of things. I deal with these things. So it's true. When you go through meditation, I can tell you, you have gained many experiences. Emptiness meditation, basically, you gain certainty is very important. <laughs> certainty means no doubt. That you can self, you can do it. No one can do for you. Buddha said exactly that way. My wisdom, I cannot put in your mind. You need to realize your own wisdom. But I can show you the path, how to reach the wisdom to realize. Whether you want to go on the path or not, that is your choice. Exactly that way. You, I can give you how to examine. You go back, you want to examine, examine. When you gain certainty, that's the point. Then you re relax. When you didn't find anything, relax on that. Relax. No so strong focus. No force yourself to be clear. Okay? Yes, this, this, this is the point. Uh, how? 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 You train. For example, like me, I like to do archery. Okay? I do 200 meters archery. How you learn? You learn the wind. You learn your hand. You learn your uh, strength. You look the eye. Target is only this flat, white flat. You only hear, can hear, you cannot see the arrows hitting the target. Then from there you learn how much you can, every day you do it. I'm not kidding you all. When you spend meditating very nicely for one month, you can see the difference. But don't force yourself. Meditate with very flexibility. So, when you go out, don't do, when you do meditation, it's okay to do this, very good. You cannot do, you do very naturally, walk. But don't distract from your awareness. Understand? When you distract from our awareness, that means you distract from meditation. Meditation means the awareness it needs to be very stable <coughs> and calm. How much time to do meditations? How much you can. But starting from five minutes every day. Okay, five minutes, you like it, put more. Do. Or empty? Basic. 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 Okay, with focus, with object, whatever you feel. Object, feeling, imagination, empty space, this four. Whatever you like, feel better, you start from there first. Okay? Mm. Okay? So, this is the key point I like to give you today. One pointed, peaceful, awareness, not distracted. This four is very important. Okay, and someone told me that was oh, it's ten o'clock? Oh. This is the problem with I'm not aware. <laughs> okay? Very simple. This is yeah, this is not aware. <laughs>